Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Um, been a little while since we got any new content up on the channel. Sorry for that. We've just been super busy here in the shop, and it's crunch time on this Bikes, Brews, and Barbecues shovelhead build. So um, I think we're closing in on 30 days till it needs to be complete and in Virginia. So anyway, um, I'm in here real early this morning before the shop opens, get a little bit of work done on it. Um, we're going to put the top end on the motor. I got a little trick I like to use on these shovel heads that I'll show you guys. Hopefully, maybe it'll help somebody out one day. Um, that's probably all I'm going to have time to get done. It's going to be a little short video today, I believe. Um, I'll show you a quick once over on the bike. Uh, honestly, I can't even remember what it was looking like on the last video. So I know since then we definitely did get the handlebars polished and on. Um, mm. I don't know, that might be all we've added since then. But anyway, I'll give you guys a couple quick shots of that. And uh, and that's it. So anyway, we're going to get started because we are on a tight time frame today. All right, so something I like to do on shovel heads, um, pan heads, anything where the head bolts are upside down through the cylinders. is I like to torque the cylinders and the heads together off of the engine. So it's a lot easier to do if you have a second set of hands to help you obviously hold the stuff, which nobody's here yet, so kind of on my own. All right, so for me, this just makes it much easier um, when you can get the torque wrench kind of almost straight down and do it like that without adapters and crow's foots and stuff like that. It does also make it a little bit trickier, obviously, to get it put together because you got the weight of the head, is you know, as well as the cylinder, which, I mean, the head doesn't weigh that much more. What I like to do is when you do the cylinder boring, make sure you get a real nice sharp chamfer on the bottom of the cylinder, and that'll help the rings feed in easily and let your cylinder slide on. So there you go, drops right on. I got these nice stainless steel 12 point cylinder base nuts. And uh, I just gotta, I'm just gonna stick one of these on here loose, not that it could fall off, but just in case. And um, I gotta go out and find some washers. And, uh, but first I'll get the other cylinder on. Something else we always do on 
shovel heads, you know, shovels, pans, whatever. Let me bring it in closer here. So the head bolt inserts, I've seen where they actually start to protrude a little bit out of the head gasket surface and they cause head gaskets to blow out even after you've reassembled. So after we mill the cylinder head flat, we'll go ahead and spot those inserts down about hundred thousandths. If it'll focus, maybe, maybe, there you go. Um, just to make sure we don't run into any problems with head gasket sealing on, uh, on these things. So, something else I always like to do, cause I mean, these heads are old, they were beat to death, they, you know, they're all fixed now, but um, they've been in the glass bead cabinet and all that stuff. So I like to chase all the threads just to make our head bolts go in easier. Always got to make sure you get your drain hole lined up. All right guys, just a quick interruption in the video here. I wanna tell you about how to enter to win. Um, as I said in a couple previous videos, we're gonna pop this information in the middle of all of our videos here and there, um, just to let people know how to enter and it'll get people to watch the videos as you gotta watch and find where the information is. So it's gonna be real simple. Uh, you don't have to buy anything, doesn't cost you anything, you just need to send an email. I'm going to try to get the email on the screen here. I'm not a super tech whiz, so we'll see how that goes, but um, the email address is pretty straightforward. It's Gaddy's Garage Giveaway at gmail.com. So all you have to do, send one email in the email, subject line, giveaway, and in the body of the email, your name, address, telephone number, that's it. Um, you don't actually even need to give your whole address if you don't want, just let's scratch the address, let's give your name, your city and state, and a contact phone number. We're not gonna sell the phone numbers, no one will ever have them but me, so don't worry about that, you're not gonna get sales calls, I hate sales calls as much as everybody else. But we do need a way to get a hold of you if you win, so. Um, again, name, city and state, telephone number. You do need to be a subscriber to the channel to win also. So if you're seeing this and you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and then send the information on over. So we look forward to everybody entering and we're really excited to give away this bike. Now back to the video. All right, so got that one. 
basically going to do the same deal here oil up the bottom of our cylinder lightly like to get a little oil on the piston skirt And there you have it. Top end on, head's already torqued. Nothing, uh, nothing too much more to fight with. So much like everything else on this bike, everything needs a little bit of modification. So we got our our um, small outside diameter washers, which are actually metric. That's something, I don't know if everybody knows that or not, but if you get kind of a close metric equivalent washer to an American, it's much smaller outside diameter, which is what we wanted because it fits perfectly on the flange of our nut. Problem is the hole is just ever so slightly tight on the stud. So now I'm having to take each washer, put it in vice here, and just take this tapered reamer I've got and just removing a little bit of material out of it the tapered reamer so you got to do both sides and it's a pain in the ass but you know when you're looking for this level of detail that we are on this particular bike there's a lot of crap like this you got to do. Um, if you guys follow us on Instagram, you've seen we've been literally machining almost every single bolt head for every single bolt going on this bike. So it's just a lot of tedious stuff, but that's what I think is going to set this bike apart from almost every other bike and really almost every other bike we've ever built, even so. All right, so anyway, you guys get the idea. We got a bunch more of these to do, and then we'll be back. Something else pretty cool we did, I think, on these heads is we modified them to accept these large, old, um, flathead air-cooled spark plugs. So, again, little details. Most people probably will never notice, but the guys who really know will. And uh, if they're like me, they'll think it's pretty cool. So, like I mentioned... I think really maybe the only thing we've changed up is having the bars on. Um, we got the internal cable run through. You can kind of see that poking out the end there. I know the lighting's not the best in here. Um, we got our slave cylinder polished and mounted up. That probably wasn't in the last video. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Um, time to get opened up and get to work. So, anyway, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this little short update. 
I believe the open fan voting is going to begin on May 1st. So if you like what we're building, um, if you don't follow us on Instagram, maybe you can hop over there and take a look at all our updates. We do a little, you know, obviously more picture updates on there than we do on here. So the fan voting is going to go towards the potential winner. It's not the ultimate decision, but I guess it's got some portion of the of the decision. So we'll need all your guys' support on that. So don't forget to check out our giveaway bike videos. Um, we are still doing the giveaway. I think we just rolled over 1,100 subscribers. So we're still a ways away from getting where we need to be to give that away. Um, that bike is still in our trailer along with all my other bikes from our show in January. Um, so we just, like I said, all of our spare time has been going on this shovelhead bike. So once this is done, which will be in, I don't know, 30 or 40 days for sure, we will get the giveaway bike out, get it back up on a lift, get it buttoned up and uh, do some updates on that. So I appreciate everybody's patience on that while we get this other bike built. And that's going to do it, I guess. I'm going to go open up and get to work. And we hope to see you guys next time at Gaddy's Garage.